Fungal keratitis is an infection of the cornea. And according to the World Health Organization, this disease is a major cause of blindness in one eye. According to a recent study published in the international research journal Lancet, out of the 10 lakh cases reported annually, the maximum are from South Asia. In India, out of total microbial keratitis cases, more than 50% are due to the fungal keratitis. Fungal eye infection is basically uh, the infection which is caused by different kind of fungi, uh, mainly it is Fusarium and Aspergillus species. The fungus basically spreads inside and then ultimately leads to the disease which means redness of the eye, itching of the eye, watering in the eyes, swelling of the eyes and blurring of the vision and sometimes it can lead to visual blindness as well. This disease occurs due to contact with leaves or other parts of crops during agricultural work. And with the large population in India dependent on agriculture, the incidence of the disease is also high in the country. For treating fungal keratitis, a drug called natamycin is generally prescribed though it hasn't been proved to be very useful. The problem lies with the ability of the drug in penetrating the cells. Currently, uh, in the market, we have this drug called Natamycin, which is a FDA-approved first line of treatment for this fungal keratitis. And this Natamycin is, uh, has certain drawbacks associated with it, that it, it shows low penetration and, as a result, low bioavailability. So it is uh, something which the patient is not very comfortable with because the dosing frequency is very high. So it can be, uh, you know, uh, drops per hour on hourly basis and it can continue for, you know, a uh, few weeks, let's say four to six weeks. Now, researchers from the Kusuma School of Biological Sciences, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, have devised a novel strategy to fight this fungal infection in an effective manner. In an effort to develop a better treatment, the research was conducted under the leadership of Dr. Arjuna Chok from Kusuma School of Biological Sciences, IIT Delhi, in collaboration with Dr. Sushmita G. Shah, cornea specialist from I Life Hospital, Mumbai, and Dr. Shikha Yadav from the National Institute of Biologicals, Noida. The research team devised a strategy to overcome the shortcomings of the drug and combined it with cell-penetrating peptides. The drug prepared with the new strategy has proved to be up to five times more efficient when tested on animals. Basically, 44% of the mice were able to recover completely of the fungal keratitis as compared to the 13% mice uh, which were treated with natamycin alone. We have seen that uh, the penetration ability of our conjugate, the drug complex, uh, uh, with the peptide is, is very good. So we are hoping to take it forward and we are hoping that some biopharmaceutical company or uh, you know the, the pharmaceutical company would come forward and help us take it further for the clinical trials so that it is able to uh, reach to the clinics and be useful to the patients. The Department of Biotechnology and Nano Mission of Department of Science and Technology Government of India has provided financial support for this research, which has been published in the Journal of Pharmaceutics. This discovery by Indian women scientists can give a boost to the Make in India initiative.